Welcome. In this video, we will draw orthographic projections of an oblique plane. Given oblique plane is a pentagonal plate of side 25 mm. One of its side is on VP and inclined at 45 degree to the HP. And plane surface is inclined at 30 degree to VP. Projections of oblique planes are drawn in three stages. In first stage, we keep the plane parallel to either HP or VP depending upon the which it is making angle. So first given condition is surface inclined to VP at 30 degree. Therefore, assume initial position parallel to VP. We will draw that view first in which true shape of the given plane is visible. When plane is kept parallel to VP, so true shape will be visible in VP or in front view. Therefore, we will draw front view first. Now, when we draw front view, at that time one side is inclined at 45 degree to the HP. So, we have to keep one side of pentagon perpendicular to the XY line. So draw XY line. Now draw one perpendicular line of side 25 mm. Now complete the pentagon. Name all the corner points. I have named them as A, B, C, D, E. Now this plane is parallel to VP. So top view will be a line which is parallel to XY line. One side should be kept on VP. One side is on VP. So I have kept one side A dash E dash on VP. Therefore entire plane will be on VP because it is parallel to VP. So top view will appear in XY line. So draw top view. Project all the points. So this is the top view. This one is the top view of this plane. When you look from top, A, B and C are visible, A, B, C are visible, E and D are not visible, they are behind A and B respectively. Next stage, we incline this pentagonal plate by 30 degree, keeping one side, that is this perpendicular side AE on VP. So, keeping AE on VP, draw this line again. Keeping this point, that is this A and E, I have kept here and I have drawn one line at an angle of 30 degree and length of this line is equal to AC. So mark these two points AE and C. Now in between you have these points B and D, measure this length, cut this length here and mark these points as BD. So this is the plane which is inclined at an angle of 30 degree from VP. To get front view, First, draw vertical projector from A and E. Similarly, draw horizontal projectors from A dash and E dash. They are intersecting at respective points A dash and E dash. So this is vertical projector from A. This is horizontal projector from A dash. So intersection will be new A dash. Similarly, this way you will get E dash. Similarly, draw vertical projector from C. Horizontal projector from C dash. Intersecting point will be C dash. Vertical projector from B and D, horizontal pro projectors from B and D, you will get this B and D. In Once you get all these points, draw lines in sequence from A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E and E to A. In this way, you got front view in second stage. Now, this plane is at present inclined at an angle of 30 degree from VP and one side is perpendicular, one side that is this A dash, E dash, this side is perpendicular to XY line or perpendicular to HP. Now it is given that this side, one side should be inclined at 45 degree to the HP. So what we will do, we will make this A dash E dash inclined at 45 degree from XY line. So draw a line which is at an inclination of 45 degree. In this line mark two points E dash and A dash. Position of E dash you can choose anywhere in this line. So once you choose this position E dash, you measure this length E dash to A dash and mark this point A dash. Once you get this A dash E dash, you have to reproduce this entire pentagon here inclined at 45 degree. So how can you draw that? There are multiple ways. So one way is take length A dash C dash and center as A dash, draw an arc. Similarly, same length or E dash C dash as length center as E dash, draw another arc. So these two will intersect at this point. So this point will be C dash. Once you get C dash, take this length A dash, B dash, draw one arc from A dash and another arc from E dash. So one arc you have drawn taking center as E dash and another arc taking center as E dash. 
here a dash b dash and e dash d dash both are of same length now from c dash as center measure this length c dash d dash and draw two arcs so one arc c dash d dash draw this arc you will get point d dash now same length you are getting here c, c dash b dash is also same length so same length take same length and draw another arc here so in this way you will get b dash and d dash now mark these points now join these points in sequence with thick lines this will this is your final front view draw vertical projectors from all these points i have drawn this vertical projectors now this is vertical projector from a so similarly draw horizontal projectors from this from here a, a so intersection will be your point a similarly this point is e so this is e horizontal projector this is e dash vertical projector so intersection point this point is e in this way you will get other points also so i have drawn horizontal projectors from b and d now here this is b dash so this point should be b and uh, this is d dash so this point should be d so mark this point b and d so these two are b and d now vertical projectors from projector from c dash this line and horizontal pro projector draw from uh, from c draw horizontal projector it is intersecting vertical projector from c dash at this point so mark this point as c join these points in sequence a to b b to c c to d d to e and e to a this is your required final top view you can see that this side ae is on vp because ae is in appearing in xy line that means it is in vp and inclined at an angle of 45 degree this entire plane is making an angle of 30 degree that this way you can draw front view and top view of an oblique plane thank you for watching this video